On the secondary water retarder, check the seals in the rotor housing. Open the cap of the coolant expansion reservoir. The coolant temperature should not be more than 25 degrees. Continue under the vehicle. Drain the coolant at the lower coolant connection of the retarder. The work continues at the top of the retarder. Unscrew the locking screw. Then remove the locking pressure line. Before reassembly, moisten the seal with lubricant. This plug is included in the part set. You'll need it in the next step. The hose is used later. Use the plug to seal the opening. Go back under the vehicle again and tighten the drain plug with a new sealing ring to 25 Newton meters of torque. Remove the evaporation tray. Upon installation, tighten the screw with 5 Newton meters of torque. Now take off the locking pressure line. When removing and installing, secure the cap nut of the connection with a second spanner. When reinstalling, tighten the cap nut to 25 Newton meters. The upper part of the line is somewhat hidden. Remove this cap nut too. Remove the locking pressure line. Now for the test hose. and the pressure pump. Mount the test hose to the nozzle of the locking pressure line and tighten the cap nuts of the test hose. Apply 2.5 bar of pressure to the seals in the rotor housing. Within 10 minutes, the pressure may drop by a maximum of 0.1 bar. With us, everything is okay. If you determine a drop in pressure, you need to find out where the leak is. If the seal is broken in the direction of the retarder, you may notice an audible pressure drop at the opening of the locking screw. Then replace the rotor housing of the retarder. If you don't hear or feel anything there and the pressure still drops, then the seal is broken in the direction of the transmission. In this case, replace the rotor housing of the retarder, drain all of the transmission oil and check it for coolant. If there's coolant in the transmission oil, fill new transmission oil, Warm it to over 50 degrees and renew it for a second time.